selfish girls, everyone just dream town. Nice houses, quiet streets. Best of all, peaceful surroundings. Selfishville, the kind of town where everybody knows your name and lives happy. Everyone, except me. Ever since I moved here, I felt awkward. Everyone brought out nothing but various levels of annoyance for me. Everyone but Charlie, that is. That annoyance with everyone else got so great that over time I developed a certain obsession with shoes. Don't ask. The house I lived in demanded heavy renovation work. However, I never had the time to do any of it since most of my time was dedicated to either shoe cleaning or talking on the phone. When I hung up the phone, I didn't feel excitement or anticipation towards the visit. I felt dread. Hi, come on in. Make yourself at home. Here, I'll take your things. Oh, this box is heavy, man. Yeah, so anyways, like I said, make yourself at home. Take a seat in the kitchen. I'll be right there. Tell me, how come you're stuck here on... As days went by, my anger and anxiety grew. I didn't even have time for my daily stuff anymore. I always had to be cleaning after him. Yeah, that would have been a great idea, but I kind of got somebody over. Yeah, 
Yeah? Who? The girl? Uh, it's unimportant. Hey, I like your shoes. Where'd you get them? Oh, it's unimportant. Anyways, look, I'm not gonna take no for an answer. Am I gonna see you later? Yeah, but... I'll call you later in the week. Fine. Okay, see you. Bye. I don't know why, but her attitude annoyed me. It didn't usually. That night, I forgot all about Charlie. I had a bigger problem on my hands, my wonderful house guest. I just had to get rid of him, and I didn't exactly know how. Slowly, I began to see and hear things. Now more than ever, the strong feelings of paranoia and fright came over me. Now, who the hell would be dumb enough to call me in the middle of the night? Yes, hello? Cleaners? No, you got the wrong number, buddy. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Bye. Charlie, let's go. Hey, Alec. I'm going to the track. Meet me there soon. The idea was to acquaint Alec with Charlie so that he'd become good friends. That way, he'd want to stay at her place and I could have my house and my sanity back. Yeah, it's selfish of me, but I gotta lose Alec, no matter what. No risk is too great at this point. Hell, he might even be hot for her. Who knows? Remember that saying about the road to hell? Something about it being paved with good intentions? Well, this was my bright idea, and my intentions were good. However, it didn't exactly happen the way I'd planned. He's uh, just a high school friend. He was uh, stuck and just gave me a call. But you didn't move here that long ago. How did he know you lived here? Like, how did you get your number and stuff? Probably checked in the phone book. Who knows? My name is listed. I have no clue how he found my name. Nice guy? He's a nice guy. I think you'd like him. Yeah, I'm sure. Anyways, listen, man. Uh, I'll be right back, uh, nature call. Yeah, careful, it's kind of cold outside. You don't want it to freeze and fall off.
I finally entered Alex's room. You would not believe what I saw. Her shoes were dirty. That just wasn't right. That's when I understood everything. Hi, uh, you're Rob? Yeah. Hi, Rob. Doctor, Doctor, we have a knife for each shoe. I was actually looking over your uh, nice shoes. Oh, thank you, very tough. Uh, they're a bit dirty. So, um, what can I do for you? I'm just, I'm just confused. There's, there's noises in my house. People are coming in and speaking of food. I, I think I hurt my friend. You, 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 Charlie. I was, uh, I, I was getting violent. Okay, that's normal. Uh, perhaps you have a feeling of inferiority that you're not. You know, and it's human. A lot of people feel that they're not masters of their own domain. What do you mean I'm not the master of my own? You say I'm crazy? No, no, I'm not. I'm not, I'm not one to, to judge at all. I'm, I'm not one to say anything of a sort of thought of. I am. Um, right. We, no, Rob. I was thinking is perhaps maybe if we could uh, perhaps. Um, at another time. I, 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 I'm a little bit. Don't go, doctor. Don't be alone. I think Alec is coming. All those noises I heard, all the mess around the house, all in my head. Well, I guess in a way, Alec did do it. Only Alec is me.